All right, welcome to round five of the Modern Challenge review with Neoform. I'm gonna play. I've seen this person before. Um, they've had 5-0 trophies with a bunch of different decks, so I have no indications on what they're playing. Let's see the hand here. So we have Allosaurus Rider and two green cards, as well as Neoform, as well as Serum Vision. And we can even try to guarantee the turn two kill by uh, playing a turn one Wild Canter. So I think that's a great hand, and I think we're keeping. All we need is an extra uh, piece of land, or mana. Now, what to lead off here uh, with here is an interesting question here. Um, if the opponent has the removal, like Path to Exile is fine, because it'll ramp us into an island and a turn, uh, turn two combo. We could just Serum Vision here. I think I would prefer Serum Visioning, because... Um, I think it's super close here. I think it's super close, and I think it's defensible to either, actually, because um, as I said in the intro video, turn two is the turn where um, a lot of the format's um, disruptive pieces, like Thalia or Logic Gnaw, Mana Leak, Dovin's Veto, uh, Assassin's Trophy do come online. So it is kind of it is kind of reasonable to lead off on a wild canter and make sure that you can have the um, turn two guaranteed. And I actually do agree. Alright, what do you got, opponent? Planes. That's, that's a pretty good uh, opening here. Um, for us, obviously. Um, this could be... Hmm, I think Humans plays one planes. It could be Bant Spirits. It could be Death and Taxes. It could be Blue-White Spirits. Um, there was a good Twitter list going around, so that might have been it. But we don't really care. We are going to combo in turn two. So it's good that we drew another green card because now we can preserve the shoal. Oh. So I think we're in a good shape to combo here. We have four Samir Spirit Guides and a land drop. So we have five mana total. We have a nourishing shoal already, and our library size is a bit above set, uh, a number being divisible by seven. So I think we're in good shape. I mean, now that we have the couple of shoals and the worm and the pact, I think we're just off to the races here. So I would start off here by casting the pact to thin the library and get the other worm. Excellent. Yep. We have more shoals on mana, which is great. Just, we're just uh, we're just not going to lose from here. The one thing I would like to say is even in situations where we're comboing off early and our opponent's tapped out, some decks do play Surgical Extraction, so do your very best to um, make sure that Nourishing Show is the last thing you can, you can, you wait for the very last possible moment to cast that. I don't think a deck with turn one planes vile does have that, but it's just like free to play tightly. Plus, you do have Noxious Revival to try and play against the Surgical Extraction. That's uh, interesting to note. Alright, let's gain 50 more. Let's gain more life. Let's get the Lab Man going. We have zero cards in the library. We have the Laboratory Maniac, and we have the backup of either Serum Vision or Life Goes On. And we win. Excellent. So that was a pretty painless turn two win on the play. Um, we have some knowledge of what they're playing. It's going to be a Thalia deck for sure, and it's going to be have some pretty disruptive uh, creature pieces. So I'd imagine we will be bringing some Slaughter Pacts and Engineering Explosives. So let's go on to game two. All right, welcome to game two. Let's see how we sideboard here. So we've brought in the two Slaughter Packs and the two um, Engineered Explosives. We bring out the Pactal Negation because that's not that's likely to be very dead against uh, Plains Aether Vial deck. And we also took out the Noxious Revival as well as the Serum Visions. So what do we have here? We have the Turn 1 Mana. We have a Neoform, but we're two green cards away, including Allosaurus Rider. And as a small um, downside, we have the Gristlebrand. So... Given that we are two cards away from comboing, I think we just uh, mulligan here. We agree. 
Now this is an interesting hand. So we have a scry, and we have another draw until we um, take our first turn. So we have two mana on turn one. We have the Neoform. So all we're actually missing is an Allosaurus Rider or a, a Summoner's Pact. So that's eight out of 54. Yeah, this is an interesting decision here. So it's eight of 54 is like not great. It's like sub 20%, but um, you also have to ask, like at this point, we're on the draw, we're likely to face Thalia or um, Mausoleum Wanderer or the likes of Graf Digger's Cage um, very early, such that like sometimes you need to make a decision a judgment call on whether this will get any better than let's say like a 15% chance to win right now and I think the answer actually is it's better off to try to go off and peel the 8 out of 54 the 8 outer twice between the scry and the turn 1 so I think I would just prefer keeping this we do so we're looking for an Allosaurus Rider or a Summoner's Pact this is not it so we're just gonna just going to put that to the bottom Ooh, so it is spirits. Notably, we can still beat a um, mausole mausoleum wanderer because we have the extra mana. Funnily enough. Okay, so let's be skillful and try to uh, draw the Allosaurus Rider. We don't. The land is not the worst here, but our first turn aspirations are wasted. Just gonna keep playing draw go, as in draw go and get my face beaten. Alright. So we're at least four turns away from um, four turns away from uh, comboing because of the two wanderers. The actual best draw would be engineered explosives, which they cannot counter. So that'd be good. No such luck. So we're just gonna play the waiting game. Wow. This hand is very, very hateful. There's an extra piece of mana. It's so hard though because now you must contend with Spell Queller as well as uh, Unified Will or anything similar. Yep, so they didn't attack with the Muta Vault. So this kind of leads me to believe that they don't have the Spell Queller because this seems very incons inconsequential. So that's kind of interesting to note. Uh, the question is, do we fire this off here? Um, we can't combo this turn because of these, but we could draw into a uh, engineered explosives while they do not they do not have the um, spell queller mana. So I prefer firing this off actually, and we do. Explosives would be good. Serum vision would, wouldn't be bad. Man, so we have the combo. Hmm. They're taxing us for three. It's just really hard to break through this. I think we really need an engineered explosives. I think that's our only out. Um, I wouldn't even uh, play this out because they might get path and our hopes will be lost. Yeah, so we have to pass. We can't attack because of Muta Vault. Okay, fair enough. We're still looking for engineer explosives here. That's not it. Because they're taxing us for three, we need two more mana sources to play through it. There's thought there's thoughts about playing it out and try to make them sack everything, but that doesn't even slow them off that much and slow them slow them down that much and they have the mute vault to pressure us, so let's not do that. Okay, so we do play it out. Interesting. So I do go for it. Ah, the reason we go for it is because one, we can slow down their pressure, and two, if we draw another uh, Allosaurus Rider or a Summoner's Pact, it actually gives us a redraw into a combo next turn. So I do like the move here, because because we didn't pact for the Allosaurus Rider, we don't have to pay for a pact next turn, and therefore we can we're alive to draw the seven outer next turn. Hmm. Weirdly enough, they have the spell crawler, which I I have to believe that was their last draw step because them playing out the vial for no vial for no reason. It's just like really strange otherwise. So we didn't get paid off here, but I think our thought process is very solid. And now I think we're just 
with 0% to win. But we'll see. Maybe they'll misclick. Yep. And they do have lethal here. self spirit. Well, that was unfortunate. We were close to combo for multiple turns, but Mausoleum Wanderers are very good against us. So let's regroup and go to game three. Hello, and here we are in game three. We're on the play. Ooh, this is a spicy one. So it might seem a bit deceptive because we only have one green blue source and a spirit, similar spirit guide, but what we do have also is the Pact for the Allosaurus Rider, two Chancellor of the Tangles, and a Neoform. So this is actually a legitimate turn one. So what we would do is reveal these two cards, play this, and use green-blue to start going off. And we would even have the... We would even have the uh, extra green mana from the second Chancellor. So this is pretty much the nuts. So let's see how we do here. All of that. Yep, let's go for Allosaurus Rider. This is a memorable game for a few different reasons here, as you'll soon find out. Alright, so I think we're a big favorite here to win, um, even with the lack of land drop, because one, we already have a similar spirit guide, and two, we actually have the extra green mana. So uh, let's think about our constraints here. Our constraints are, constraints are life and mana. And for mana, we even have the four Simian Spirit Guides and the one green mana. So we can even have the freedom to uh, cast a Mana Morphos early or cast an extra Serum Vision or a life, from, uh, life Goes On. Times two, actually. Uh, we can cast a Serum Vision and Life Goes On, which is great. So let's see how we do here. So I think this is great. We have a Summoner's Pact. We can get uh, use it to get the Worm. We can then the library and we go off here. I think we're very in a very good shape. We get the Worm. Let's draw seven more. The second set of draws aren't great, but we'll make do with it. Okay. Draw seven. We have the mana. We don't have the life gain yet, so. This is starting to look a bit weird here, but, I mean, we usually get there, so nothing to worry about, I think. And we miss on the Nourishing Show. Awkward. Let's do a Life uh, life Goes On check here. So we don't have that here. We don't have that here either. Wow. Okay. So now we have to start, uh, we have to put our thinking cap on and see how best we can try to navigate our way out of this. So we don't have a Summoner's Pack to thin the library one more, so that's one check. And then we have the three Simian Spirit Guides here. Laboratory Maniac, so note that we have five total mana for this turn. The four Simian Spirit Guides, as well as the uh, green from the Chancellor of the Tangles. So I think the best way to look at as many cards here is... Hmm. So I think it's a combination of Serum Vision into Manamorphos here. Um, we're certainly going to have to cross um, the library size being uh, less than 21, so it'll be harder to manipulate. So that's an issue that we need to uh, we need to solve, but <laughs> otherwise we're going to die because of these two packs. So I think the first thing we should do is... This is tough. So we have three mana right now. I think we should, well, let's see how many mana morphos, morph, morphos do we have. So we have a bunch of Serum Visions and we have a bunch of mana morphos. So I think what we should do is first convert the Serum Spirit Guides into um, blue and green mana. And then, hmm. no, you know what? I think the first way, to, the first thing to do is to convert the useless rep mana into um, blue mana with Wild Canter, 
and then go for the Serum Vision, because firing off the Serum Vision first lets you see three cards deep, right? Because you draw one and you scry two, so I think that's the best way to do, do this. Okay, so I go off with the Manamorphos route, which is interesting. We really do want to save a Manamorphos, at the very least, to uh, draw the cards you scryed from the Serum Vision. So as long as I keep one more handy, then I think I'm okay with this, but I think the optimal play was to um, Wild Canter first, rather than Manamorphos. And then Serum Visions. Alright, we don't have anything here. Cast Serum Vision. These are not life gain cards. Neither is this, so... Bottom, bottom you go. Starting to get nervous here. Wow. So we find the other piece of mana. So keep in mind, we've used two of the mana on Serum Vision already, so we only have three uh, total mana remaining, and they all must go into uh, Laboratory Maniac. And we can't even pass and um, pay for the pack next turn, because one, we've cast two Summoner's Pack, so that's eight mana required, and two, we don't even have the second land and two Simian Spirit Guides to pay the four mana, even if it was one, uh, one pack. So this is a bit troublesome. Um, I think the best way to do this, hmm. I think it's pretty free to just keep the Mana Morphos on the top, but I don't think it matters. Like deck thinning might matter later on. So we just bottom bottom here. And I think that given that we only have three cards left, uh, three mana left, we just have to keep Mana Morphosing and try to hit a life gain spell. And that's what I do. Moment of truth. Let's see how we do. Wow. No life gain spell, eh? That is absurd. So now we look around and see if we do have anything to keep the chain going. And notably, we cannot use the Serum Vision because we only have three total mana left and Laboratory Maniac takes three mana. So... Unfortunately, I think we're locked out here. We can't keep going and keep digging um, into the library. We cannot gain life. So this is a, a rare combo fail where we got to um, combo on turn one against a very bad matchup. They have very uh, they have many hateful cards. And we even started with uh, Nourishing Show plus Worm. Um, to start, as well as an extra green mana from the Chancellor of the Tangle. So this is a very unlikely thing to happen. And uh, I, I was, I'm not going to lie, I was pretty annoyed at the time because I was, I think, 3-1 or 4-1, and I was about to go to 4-1 or 5-1. And then this happened, the turn 1 uh, failing on me, it's kind of annoying, but you got to collect yourself and you got to understand that every deck combo or a mid-range or control or not have fail rates, and sometimes that's how the... Uh, that's how the luck turns out. So we end, up, we end up losing here. After thinking, I just do this for fun. And we found out that it was two cards deeper. Or three cards deeper, actually. So we were pretty far away from getting there. And yeah, so we conceded. It's unfortunate. We had the turn one with an extra mana floating. But we didn't get there. So that's how that, that's how they, uh, that's how it goes sometimes. So this was the fifth match, I believe, of the Modern Challenge. We lost a tough one, but let's see if we can finish up out the uh, challenge strong.